Okay, so now we're at step four, preparing to build our app. So this is going to include, um, you know, our designer designing it in code.org, which I'm going to focus on more in this video. Um, but it does want us to fill out what all of our element IDs names are, these meaningful names we give them, what type they are. Um, you'll get this from when we're using um, the design phase, whether it's a label, checkbox, can, you know, whatever these are, right? That's, that's its type. Um, and then what it does, right? So my coaster home label, that's going to be this guy right here, a home screen coaster label. Label is just meant to display text to the user. You're not really supposed to be able to interact with it in any way. So it displays the main title of the home screen. Labels are great for maybe one or two lines worth of text. If you're going to have a lot of lines of text, text fields, right, which I'll show you. Uh, text, sorry, text fields or text areas, right, very similar names. Um, are good for that. But if you're using text area, and we'll talk about this later in the video, just as a word of caution, you need to click read only if you don't want the user to be able to delete stuff in here. So I'll show you what I mean. If I put some text and I hit run, and read only, the user can't do anything with it, right? If I uncheck this box and I hit run, the user can delete what I've written there and make it say something else, right? Which I don't want them to do. So just a word of caution, labels the user cannot change at any time, right? Unless you've introduced some sort of interactivity for that to happen. Text areas, they would be able to, unless you do that read only option, okay? Under the property, you click your text area, okay? Um, don't worry about filling necessarily all of these in. This is good to, good to have though, right? To think about. What am I going to name each of these things and having a good naming app? I like to use the lower camel case, right? Or the first letter is lowercase. The next words letter is capitalized, etc. So this is called lower camel case. All right, let's talk about the design though. How are you going to make this design easier on yourself? So I had some rough ideas again, what I want my home screen to look like. So up top here, I want this to be a label on my home screen. Okay, before we even do that, let's in fact rename the screen. Instead of screen one, that's not a good name. Let's call it home screen. Okay, um, now if you want to make your life even easier, you can pick a theme. These are built-in themes, so kind of color your, you know, your text and change your backgrounds, things like that. Uh, I think I went with millennial for my app. So I went millennial here. You can see it changes the background color for me and it'll kind of make all of the other elements fit in this color scheme. So I don't have to do a lot of color change options, but you're welcome to do more of that if you like. So I want a label for my title. So let's call this home screen label. I don't remember what I called it in my actual app. What do I call it? Coaster home label. That's not a great one. Let's call it home screen label. Let's change it up. Okay, uh, now this is its name. And let's, the text I want to say is roller coaster facts, right? Or stats, however you want to name this. So obviously that font size is very small. Let's make this much bigger. Okay, I like that it's bigger now, probably easier for the user to read, um, but let's, Let's center, text align center. Let's make it look a little nicer. And if I don't want that extra background to it, one of the ways is a nice trick to get rid of the background color to make it uh, transparent. Is remember that RGB also has what's called an alpha channel. So it's an optional fourth thing here for red, green, blue, and then alpha. And it's a value between zero and one. So let's say 0.5 would make it half opaque. You can see it got a little more see-through than it was. Um, or if you change it to zero altogether, it means that color is completely transparent. So now the, all you can see behind it is the background color from the home screen. So I like that a little bit better. Um, you know, maybe I want a different font, maybe a bandana. I don't know, you know, pick something that you like. You can play around with this a little bit more. Um, maybe not that one. Looking at uh, my actual app, I guess I just went with Lucinda Sands. So let's change it to Lucinda Sands. 
and we'll need to make it a little wider. That looks good, have it roughly centered. I like that placement. Okay, the next thing I had for my design, so go back up, is a picture of a roller coaster. So if you're not sure how to find things like these, you want to go to Google, do an image search. So let's say roller coasters, right? I'm gonna click images. And then under, try to make this bigger here, tools. So you only get this after you've clicked the images tab. Tools, usage rights, creative common licenses. So this is gonna give you ones that some of them you'll just be able to grab. Oh, I really like this one here. So this is from Wiki Commons. It says it's licensable. Um, you know, for our app purposes, we're not selling our app. This is for educational purposes. So if you really like this, you can, you know, pick the size of the preview and then you can save your image, right? So save your image and then you can upload your media. So I needed to find for my app, uh, I think I just wanted one, two, three different roller coaster pictures, right? So I found three I liked that I think would kind of fit, you know, this rectangular frame I wanted and use most of the screen. Uh, and then I save them to my computer and I'll show you how to add those into your assets. And to do that under toolbox design, there's a little cog here. Click this cog, you can do manage assets. Okay. And to upload those files we want, we can click upload file. Since it's my personal computer, I don't wanna to release too much personal data here. So I'm gonna pause, but just upload your files here. Okay, so I've individually uploaded these three files and now I'll be able to select them when I have like an image. Okay, so to add my image in, I'm gonna grab the image character, bring it in. Um, I'm gonna want mine to go pretty much all the way across the screen, so let's do something like that. And then to change what's being displayed, I'm going to click image, choose, and I like this one for my first page, so I'm gonna click choose. And now I have this very big roller coaster picture. It's not necessarily taking up all of it. Maybe if I make it taller, there you go, that looks pretty good like that. Maybe go even bigger, but okay, something like that is fine. Okay, so there's my roller coaster. I'm going to want to have to rename this. So let's call this home screen image. Okay, so it has a meaningful name. Um, other things in my design, I want a text area here, but I'm going to want to set it to read only. So let's add that in and then two buttons down here. So let's do all of that. I'm going to drag in a text area. It's going to have my explanation. So maybe we'll call this text area um, screen text. Uh, and then in here, we're going to type in what my app does. Just so I don't forget, let's change that to read only. I can play around with what that says in the font size in a minute. Then I'm going to drag in buttons. Notice again, these are all kind of fitting with the millennial theme. You can kind of see, right, that the coloring and stuff's already done for us, which is nice. So this button, let's call this the least screen button. No, let's just call it least button. So it's going to take us there. And what text do I want it to have? Let's have it say least. Maybe I can make that font size a little bigger. I like that, size 18 looks great. Okay, so let's say I wanna create a very similar button over here for greatest. Well, if I want an almost identical copy of this, when I have this element selected, the very right, you have some extra things here. Duplicate creates a second button that has all of my same settings. So it did give it a generic name, ID2. Let's call this the greatest button. It's the greatest. And then let's change our text to greatest. And that still seems to fit in there okay. I don't necessarily need to resize it. Um, so I feel pretty happy with that. So obviously I'm gonna to wanna to fill in some text here. I'll come back to that. But let's create some new screens. So I want a new screen for the least. So when I click this, let's call this the least screen, give it a nice ID. Um, and I want some of those things very similar to the first page, right? So go back to home screen. 
one of the things you can do here, if you want a lot of these elements to be the same, maybe the title in the same place, so you can, instead of doing what I just did, creating a new screen, if you click so you have the screen, you can say duplicate the entire screen, all of those elements. Now they all have generic names, but we've created an entire new screen. So in fact, let me get rid of this lease screen that I had created. So I can rename my duplicate screen the at least screen. And so up here where it says roller coaster facts, let's make this the at least screen label is its meaningful name, roller coaster facts least. So the user knows they're finding the least of something. Um, so this image we're gonna call the least screen image. And I'm gonna want a different image for that. Let's do I like this one, oops. Shoes is the option I wanted there. Uh, maybe I can make that a little taller, maybe move it up a little bit more, but that looks pretty good. Now this text area, uh, let's call this the least uh, text output. Okay, so this is where I'm gonna have some of that least text output. Um, I don't like this. I don't think it needs to be too big, but something like that. Oh, I know I'm going to need a drop down, so let me get myself some more space up there. Um, I'm not going to need two buttons down here, so I'm going to get rid of one of these because I think in my design, right, I just wanted to get my title, picture, drop down, text output, and a button to bring me back home. So let's change this. Let's call this the least screen home button. Now it's a long name, but you know it, it's very meaningful. <laughs> Let's change the text to home. Uh, and then I need a drop down, right? And I can resize some of these elements to make them a little nicer, a little bigger, maybe the same width as this down below, right? Find something that, that looks visually nice to you. Okay. Yeah, somewhere in there. Okay, so rather than option one, option two, let's call this the least drop down. And let's give it some options here. Like, uh, I usually like the first selection just to let the user know if I don't have a label for my drop down, what they need to do. So, like, select a statistic. Um, and then, what were the things we needed? Uh, height, speed, length. And I think that was it for least. I think greatest had number of inversions. Um, by the way, you can always drag this down so you can see all of your options. That makes it a little bit easier. So I like, everything's got meaningful names here. This is a great least page all set up. Now, because my greatest page is gonna be really, really similar, right? If you look between my least page and my greatest screen, they're almost identical. So great idea, let's copy this screen, duplicate, make sure I have the screen, duplicate the entire screen, Click the screen here, so I have it selected. And let's change this to greatest screen. And then I'm just gonna rename some of these things like greatest screen label. And of course, we'll change the text to say greatest. Uh, let's change this image. This is the greatest screen image. And then let's change it to uh, this one I haven't used yet. Ooh, that one looks pretty cool. I like that picture. Um, let's make this the greatest drop down. Um, now I do want to add in number of inversions as an extra option for greatest. So we'll add that in there on our list. Uh, my text area, let's make this the greatest text output. And let's make this the greatest home screen button. Right, I think I had it like that or something. Okay, very long title. I don't know if they like that, but we'll, we'll go with it. Okay, so look at this. Everything has meaningful names. I don't have a ton of elements, which is nice. Don't overcomplicate your program. And I think everything is set up. I've got my home screen with buttons, meaningful names. I need to add some text in here, um, which is just gonna be hard you know, coded in. So I can just use this text area to type it in. And so I saved you a little bit of time here. I think I liked time size 15 and I've added in my explanation. 
right? So users know what's going on here. Learn which roller coasters have the greatest speed, height, length, and number of inversions, or which have the least speed, height, and length by making a selection below. So I know they can see these two buttons. And obviously I need to add functionality so that these navigate, and that might be the first part I do when I start programming after I get my data set.